Hey everyone, this is Andrew Tyron. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to unbox and set up the Apple AirTag. So AirTags are basically specialized tracking devices which you can pair with your iPhone. And what this will allow you to do is always be able to track whatever this AirTag is attached to, whether it's something like a bag or a bicycle or a car. Anywhere that the AirTag is located is going to be picked up by your iPhone. Or if it enters the Bluetooth range of any other iOS device, then that information is going to be fed back to your phone. So where Wherever the AirTag is in the world, as long as an iPhone is nearby, you're going to know the location of that device. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and open up the Apple AirTags. So this is the four pack. So it's often much cheaper to buy the four pack. And uh, I got this particular pack from Amazon. It doesn't really matter where you buy your AirTags from. They all come with the same Apple hardware warranty. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and open mine. So we have this simple tag here at the bottom. And I'm just going to open up the bottom of the case. Now I'm just pulling out the inside and now we have the four Apple AirTags right here. So this is all the documentation that we need. This is all about safety and handling. I don't think it's really that important to read this. And the most important thing is that we have the four individual AirTags here. So I'm going to take out the first one. I'm going to show you how to set this one up. So the AirTag itself is pretty straightforward. There's a bit of plastic backing on here, which I'm just going to take off. And then there's this plastic here. And basically when we've taken it off, we have the actual battery tag here. So this is preventing the battery from activating. So it's not draining battery before you actually use it. Once I pull this out, this is going to activate the AirTag. So right before I do this, I'm just gonna show you what you need to do on your phone. So your phone needs to be using the operating system iOS 14.5 or above. So if you haven't updated your phone already, just go to your settings app. Then we're gonna to go to the general section here. Then we're gonna tap on software update and just make sure you're on the latest version of the operating system. I'm actually on iOS 15. As long as you're on iOS 14.5 or onwards, then this is gonna work for you. So I'm just coming up my phone here and then my Apple AirTag here. So now I'm going to pull the battery contact and you'll hear that noise. That means that the AirTag is activated and because I've got it near my phone, it's already detected that it's nearby. So all I need to do now is to tap the connect button. Here, I'm just gonna give it a name. This one I'm gonna call keys. Here, we're gonna allow additional sharing features. I'm gonna press use this phone. Here it's asking me to register my AirTag with my email address and my phone number. I'm gonna press continue. And now this AirTag has been registered. So here we're gonna press view in my Find My App. And now I can see that on my map, I have a key icon and it's located where this particular device is. So the kind of neat feature here is that we have this find button here. So this is a bit unique. So obviously with the Find My App, it's easy to locate the GPS of certain devices like iPads, iPhones, etc. However, the find nearby function is a little bit more granular. If I press this now, then this has the ability to detect exactly where that AirTag is. If you actually pick up your phone, you can actually locate exactly where that AirTag has gone. And so it's gonna give a much more granular kind of view of exactly where your device has disappeared to. Another function as well is that you can also get it to play a sound. So I'm gonna press play sound button here and this, and this AirTag is making noises. So I'm gonna press stop. So you're always gonna be able to find this AirTag, whether it's through the granular finder or through the sound that it beeps when you press the play sound button. And if you scroll down here, what you can do is do things like notify when found. What you can also do is things like notify when left behind. So if you have your home specified, what you can do is ask for it to let you know if you have forgotten this device. So if you leave your house without it, it will tell you. We can always add different locations here. And then we can also enable lost mode. So if you can't find this particular AirTag for a period of time, if you enable lost mode, then once it gets picked up by an iPhone on the network, then you'll get a notification to let you know that this is been made available. You can also set this up to leave a message. So if the finder of your item has an iPhone, then they'll be able to contact you in order to return this item. Finally, we can rename the item. I can change this to any one of these options, or I can go ahead and rename it manually. So there are lots of different ways to actually set up these air tags. And what I like to use are accessories like this keyring. And basically what this does is just slot into this silicon keyring like so. And if I attach my keys to it, then I'll basically always know where this air tag is located and the keys which are attached to it as well. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful. I've got lots of other Apple tutorial videos on my YouTube channel. If you liked the video, please like, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.